Good morning. I just installed Tesla Full Self Driving or FSD version 12.5. The latest and greatest. Is it ready for prime time? Let's find out. I'm driving out of the hospital and just activated the FSD software. I'm recording with the Insta360 X4 camera. Mounted on a selfie stick wedged between the console and the driver's seat. Sometimes it moves around a little bit. But with reframing, I think I managed to keep it pretty centered. In the first drive at night, which I've got recorded uh, and already published elsewhere, I found that the uh, behavior in general of the FSD is a little bit more human-like. It doesn't waste as much time. It's not as timid. It's fairly quick to accelerate, but not not in a sports car sort of way and the braking was pretty smooth very human like feel to it so I was fairly pleased with that it wasn't the most challenging drive but as you'll see as you watch, if you watch that other video uh, it was really without incident so I'm reversing the same route basically heading back home and we'll watch and see how this goes along I'll speed up the boring parts So here we're about to enter the neighborhood. This is a pretty large gated community development. I think I missed it in real time, but there was actually a very quick nag there that I answered just by messing with the screen. FSD has been doing okay with speed bumps. It's done okay with the neighborhood gates as I leave the neighborhood. It usually does see them and slow down and waits for the motion sensor to open them but it's had trouble with these swinging barricades. So as I approach the barricade in front of the gate, I've got my foot near the brake just in case. I'll give it as much leeway as I can. Had to stop it, because it looked like it was gonna hit the barricade. It had barely started to slow down, but I think it definitely was gonna hit that barricade. So that was the first disengagement, only on my second drive. But it's always had some trouble with those barricades. When I exit the neighborhood, it does tend to see the fence and will stop for the fence and wait for it to open. But coming in, you've got the barricade before the fence and it tends to be blind to those barricades. that I knew there had been problems with this before, so I had my foot on the brake ready to take action. And I let it go a little farther than I normally would just to see. And again, there was a slight slowdown, but it definitely was going to hit it. So as always, pay attention, keep your hand near the wheel, or in this case, near the brakes, especially for known issues like barricades and gates.
what's your experience been if you have this update? Share some comments below. See you next time. Thanks for watching.